see what the first question is. Your new album is called Kiss Me Once. Why the limit? Okay. <laughs> Why? Well, it's... Um, it doesn't stipulate it's once only. Kiss me once and, and then I'll know if I like it and then I can decide if, if you can kiss me twice. Next question. Who would you rather go to the pub with right now? <laughs> Robbie Williams, Nick Cave or Jason Donovan? Uh, it's a good selection. I would say right now I would want to go to the pub with Nick Cave. Um, because I want to grill him about his new uh, documentary film, 20,000 Days on Earth, which I'm in. I haven't seen the entire film. That's why I'd want to go to the pub with him, because I'd say, right, Nick, please bring me a copy of the film so that I can see the entire thing. But I wouldn't pass up the op opportunity to go to the pub with Robbie or Jason either. What was the last song you just couldn't get out of your head? Um, well, King of the World at the moment, Pharrell. It has to be um, happy. And probably prior to that it was Get Lucky. Yep, that's that. Okay. What's the weirdest thing you've ever seen on YouTube? Where do I start? There's so many weird things. Um, I particularly like Prancercise. I don't know if anyone has seen Prancercise. I try and I do it. I break into a bit of Prancercise. And if someone hasn't seen Prancercise, they're like, what are you doing? And it's very hard to explain what Prancercise is. I'm sure I've seen weirder things, but that's, that's the one that um, has worked its way into a part of my life since I've done it. This is good. Oh no, tell us your favorite joke. I only know really bad ones or really dirty ones and I don't think either are appropriate. So I'll get back to you when, uh, when I do have a good joke. What's the best untrue rumor you've ever heard about yourself? Um, a long, long time ago, there was one that I had a dungeon. Never had a dungeon. Uh, don't suppose I will have a dungeon in the future either. Um, and there was also a bit of a question mark asking if I was an alien. Whilst I can confirm I have never had a dungeon, I could be an alien and I don't know about it. Not to my knowledge though. Have you ever Googled yourself? Sure have. Um, although you don't need to do it so much now because Twitter and all social media, they pretty much tell you a second, the second after something's out there, or strangely, sometimes before it's even happened. But I do use Google a lot when, when your brain deserts you and you can't think of the answer to the simplest thing. Google. What's the weirdest thing you've ever been sent by a fan? Underpants? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> nothing. Well, I guess that is weird, but nothing, nothing super weird. I normally am sent pretty nice things. <laughs> when was the last time you did the locomotion? Um, <laughs> you do it right now. When was the last time I did the locomotion? Um, I probably did it at a gig a couple of months back. Um, I really enjoy singing locomotion now uh, like a, a kind of acoustic chugging 60s version uh, and I, I normally can't help myself I, I just do a little bit of that one has to right final question is it a good one? Oh, it is a good one who would win in a fight Tom Jones, Ricky Wilson or Will I Am and why? oh if it was a verbal fight, probably Will I Am because he he goes everywhere and arrives at a really good point. If it was a fisticuffs fight, ooh, maybe maybe Ricky. I don't know. This is really hard. Um, and Tom Jones has got to win something. Tom Jones has just got to win in the legendary status. Or maybe um, who's ever done the best dance ever? It is Tom Jones. 
because if you YouTube Tom Jones crazy dancing, you will find the best thing, one of the best things you've ever seen. That guy in his prime has moves like you wouldn't believe. So a dance fight, Tom Jones. A microphone swinging fight, Ricky Wilson. And a verbal fight, Will I Am. Don't hold me to that, but <laughs> in order to answer your question, that's that. Um, and I thank you for all of these wonderful questions.